Hey, what's happening, Meek Planet? Welcome. Thank you for landing. This is LJ. Check out this clip of Kevin Gates on The Breakfast Club as he attempts to explain in his own way survival consciousness. This is what we're saying when we say the people have a state of mind or survival which makes them have the same state of mind as an animal. Check it out and meet me inside. Meek Planet. Individuals that live in poverty stricken situations, environments, they believe that exhibit of violence, exhibiting violence is how you handle situations, and that's not anymore. I what learned. What got you out of that? Understanding. Mm -hmm. So let me show you what Kevin Gates is talking about. Um, don't get offended when you hear survival consciousness, animal awareness, animal instinct, because this is just how it's uh, described on all of the other uh, consciousness level charts. However, um, the reason it's called animal instinct is because that is exactly what it is. You see, these people live their day to day lives in survival mode. If you've ever uh, seen anything in survival mode, survival mode is a very stressful uh, time filled with anxiety, mistrust, and these people tend to uh, wake up every day just trying to make it. If you, if you look here, the most basic and fundamental level of human consciousness is the survival consciousness level. And you don't have to just look at my chart, although I'm going to use it to teach people how to increase their consciousness level. But we can also go here to Wikipedia. Levels of consciousness can be presented in a map. Some levels are more continuous and complex than others. This won't be an easy journey because, first of all, most people are forced unknowingly into the, into the survival state of consciousness. If every day you wake up, you're literally worried about where you're going to stay, what you're going to eat, and uh, are you going to drink, are you going to be okay, will you be safe? This is not a way to live, but this is the way majority of people live in the entire world. They're not the elites because uh, they have power over you and using the military. They're the elites because they have what you need well, what you perceive to need to survive. You see, a lot of us as well are not forced to be in the survival state of consciousness. We're just ignorant of it. And therefore, when we wake up and we start calling ourselves beasts and savages and all of that, oh, you have no idea how close you are. Anyway. Did it cause a reason? A wise man will change. Mm -hmm. See, I'll be hearing people, you know, I go through the ghetto and I hear people say, man, gays don't change or stay the same. You a lie. Mm -hmm. That's ignorant. That's an ignorant way of thinking. You gotta evolve. You gotta grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if I don't change, I'll be a fool. Mm -hmm. You hear me? I'm setting myself up for destruction. Mm -hmm. It ain't that no more. You know, a wise brother pulled me to the side and said, you gotta be somewhere, you gotta have a pistol. You don't need to be there. Damn right. You got too many strikes. What you wanna go to you right. wanna go to penitentiary for the rest of your life for somebody to say you real? Mm -hmm. No, man. Be loyal to yourself first. Mm -hmm. As I read on the Wikipedia page. Outside conditions can keep you in the survival uh, state of consciousness if you're not aware of it. So the fact that he mentioned the ghetto, I'm sure he's just mentioned that because he's just talking about experience. Uh, but the fact that there he's talking about the ghetto is not by accident. Who they call the elite purposely keeps the, the people who are unaware in the survival state of consciousness. That's how they can make them worship other people and celebrities because of simple movies and having money because they have them worship money. They'll kill you over money. They'll lie for money. They'll steal for money. And this is why if you checked out my last video, I said that it's a fact that if you lie, you'll steal. And if you steal, you'll kill. But notice Kevin also talks about 
understanding what his decisions and how the decisions changed because he uh, he changed his state of mind he got out of the con uh the survival state of consciousness and changed his state of mind now he can see all those things <clears throat> as they truly are instead of as the the stress and the anxiety of the the state of mind that he has when you're in survival uh, mode makes you feel we'll continue you know, and the people that get it, get it, and those who don't, don't. Hey. And I just say that because I got a lot of youngsters that look up to me, you heard me? And when I involve myself with the Achievement Academy, shout out to Lamar Cole, that's like my brother. You know, I teach a life and decision-making course. Mm -hmm. Man, you don't have to be what people want you to be. You got your own brain. You hear me? No one should be what people want them to be. Really. Society is a construct, of course, that's a vision of a lot of people that made these choices before we ever even got here. Most of the people that's living now are living on decisions and things that happened before we got here. Now, I'm not saying it's 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 unnecessary. Society is necessary. Rules are necessary. It's necessary to feed and clothe and have people be able to take care and support themselves. However, this is options. It doesn't change you at all as a human being. As a human being, you have to have be morally sound and ethical. Like there's there's a connection between human that that is greater than any other thing that they can come up with for from society because we have a bond uh, that makes us uh, special, but not uh, elite. I'm sorry. It makes us special. What word am I looking for? It makes us special, but not superior. All right, let's continue. Mm -hmm. If you knew the consequence behind the choice you made, would you still have made that choice? Mm, hopefully not. I ain't gonna tell you that you're gonna die and go to jail behind one bad choice, but we are creatures of habit. Mm -hmm. It becomes habit. That becomes your behavior. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Now you then put yourself on a downward spiral. Well, you know, a wise brother told me, man, why accept failure when success is free? There you go. Why? I ain't got nothing left from the street life. I got a dead brother. I ain't got a pair of jeans left. Mm. And if I did, I couldn't fit them because they probably have 40. <laughs> <laughs> I wear 36. <laughs> I wear 36 in the waist, man. I you know. hear me? Mm. I'm just being honest, though. Mm. You know, but I had a I had a feel, I I I had a feel like much. last time when an individual disrespect you, oh, it's game time. Mm. I punch him in his mouth. I ain't about no talking. That's not how you deal with a problem. Mm. Mm -mm. When I detect that you not no intelligent person mm -hmm. by listening that you speak i'm gonna stay out your way me too stay out the way i'm gonna stay out your way mm -hmm. see actually having power and being able to control your power and control your emotions is the most powerful thing you can do this shows the truly powerful this shows that you are not the weak one it's weak to not be able to control your emotion your emotions it's weak to not be able to control yourself and your actions you can't be reactionary you have to respond to things see when you respond you get to think about it you're actually responding but when you react that's like an animal these are how uh this is how people end up in situations that they shouldn't be in because they just didn't think them out but depending on where you are if you're in survival consciousness this is not even something you're aware of most of the times you're just trying to defend yourself you're trying to make sure this person ain't talking about you you're trying to make sure this person ain't lying on you did they steal your stuff as i said these people often believe that they are a victim people in this state of consciousness that is Cause I know what's gonna happen if you play with me, mm -hmm. man. I'm gonna make you kill me, man. You gonna have to live all that gangster. That, uh, can I curse? Can I use profanity? We'll bleep it, but don't leave nah, too much. You gonna have to. You gonna have to live all that that you be talking about in them songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm just me and my woman. So it's, if it's a hundred of y'all, you gonna have to live that with me. Mm -hmm. I don't accept or tolerate disrespect. That's why I give my respect first. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse mm -hmm. me, bro. But when you disrespect me, man, it's game time. Mm -hmm. My children are with me at all times, and I have to show them how to deal with altercations. Always see first. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Every problem ain't you don't turn it into Afghanistan and all that. That don't make you tough. I won't teach my son. I impute that to him. Even though he's a child, I talk to him now when he laying in my chest. Be a man to understand it. Mm. You know, be a man to understand it and understand that other people not gonna have the same understanding you have. 
And I impute that to my young brothers, man. Stay out the way. That's maturity, though, knowing everything don't stay need to be Stay out the way. Absolutely. Because he not that, man. If he picking with you, man, obviously, you know what I'm saying, he don't have no understanding. So, you shouldn't expect just because we show meekness that that means weakness. Because if you watched the previous video, the meek has nothing to do with being weak. And I'm not saying that either of us have reached the level of the meek. Of course, I know we have not. Uh, but I myself am working on constantly being aware of what's happening and what's driving my decisions and why they're being made. But of course, again, meek people, when you're on, when you're working your way up the consciousness, consciousness level, then there are going to be things you absolutely have to change. One of those things is going to be you can't lie. <laughs> you have to stop lying. If you look around yourself right now and you have anyone that you think would lie to you, that's because you are in the same level as those people. Remember, birds of a feather absolutely flock together. That's good and bad. You won't find people in higher states of consciousness on the... Uh, uh, hanging out and being friends with people on a lower state of consciousness, not friends. Now you can go and talk to these people about this thing, about these things and try and educate them on it. But people who are on that state of consciousness just have no time to listen to things that don't involve them and how they can make money or how they can benefit from it. If it doesn't involve them, they really don't care about those types of things. And you trying to talk to them about consciousness could be seen as you're attacking them. As I said, these people are more, more likely to play victim. Anyway, thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe. We'll be dropping another video soon, maybe tomorrow. Check us out. Have a great day. Meek. Planet.